Reading a, a dry history book doesn't give you the intimacy of the moment. And what reenactors love about this is you get to stand next to the cannon and actually do what they did over 150 years ago. It's wonderful. It's very dangerous. Uh, you're using gunpowder, and you know, even though it's black powder, it's still very explosive. This is the actual drill that you would have seen uh, if you were on the battlefield, either on the British or the uh, Continental side. Uh, there are some variations that people have come up with, and obviously in the heat of battle, sometimes you leave steps out for speed, but otherwise this is the drill that you would have seen. These fellows out here didn't have the benefit of our modern technology, so they were willing to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the adversary at very close range and fire muskets at one another, and they were willing to advance into the mouth of massed infantry, uh, mass cannon refire. Uh, being mowed down by canister is not a good way to go, but it's amazing that young men would do that, that they cared enough about their country, about independence, they would actually walk into the mouth of a cannon. I want them to remember the sacrifices of their ancestors who were willing to give up what they had, maybe give up their lives and their families' possessions to secure independence. We just passed the 4th of July and we should remember that every day of the year.